Good morning. You heard the siren. Easily offended? Don't listen. See how easy that is? I haven't been doing those reminders for a while because I figure if you're here, you already know. So let's turn her down. It's supposed to be fast banjo, but I don't want to hear her singing. Let's move to this instead. There we go. It's hard to be upset when you hear a banjo. I was going to put foreboding music behind this, but I didn't. So banjo, because banjos are fun. I don't think I've ever heard a dark banjo. It's just too quirky. Anyway, dark music would be appropriate because uh, the rhetoric in this country has gone off the rails. But also, um, the standard bias by the inner media continues. Okay, you all uh, know about the events of the 6th. That's all over the news. Insurrection, which is a very inflammatory word. It was a riot. And it was an invasion of the, of the Capitol building. I'd call them those two things. That was not an insurrection. Those were, were idiots going in. They're rioters. And, uh, but not an insurrection. If anybody thinks that's an insurrection... Uh, they weren't looking at the makeup of that crowd. It was a riot. <coughs> no doubt about that. But insurrection is an inflammatory word. You know, it would be like if I want to call all abortionists and people participate in abortion murderers. Which it probably is if they are willfully destroying. They know it's a baby and they don't care. They're killing it. That's murder. I do think it is possible for people to be blind in today's culture. To be convinced of lies. Like, it's not a child, it's my body. Well, it's not. I mean, it just didn't... The baby didn't appear on its own magically like a new organ. Something got introduced outside of your body to make said baby. Anyway, that's an aside. So we've all heard about the January 6th insurrection. Trump should be tried. Trump should be removed. Trump should have the 25th Amendment invoked. Um, but did you all hear about Nancy Pelosi? Uh, probably not. I'm going to put a link in it down here uh, from Tim Cass. Tim Poole has it's a 35 minute long video. You don't have to listen to the whole thing. He, he talks about it at the beginning. But Nancy Pelosi suggested to the military generals to ignore any commands Trump gives between now and the time he's out of office. And they had to inform her, well, man, that's akin to insurrection, to a military coup, is what she's suggesting. And, uh, duh, I'm sure she knew that and didn't care and wanted to see if they would go along with it. But you won't hear about that on the mainstream news. Mm -mm. New York Times, surprisingly enough, mentioned it, as Tim Poole mentions in the link I'll put below. But you won't hear that reported. Instead, you will see <clears throat> um, the six played over and over and over again. You know, this is why this is why people on the right, like myself, are so tired of the media. And so tired now of big tech. They are in cahoots liars manipulators so the big purge is coming on platforms is you know they have a right to do that they own it they can do it I guess as you know moderates and conservatives you should have been aware of that all along that you make yourself vulnerable if you depend on somebody else it's just life so anyway yeah so you know some nice kind of square dance music going on in the background not a bad thing to I have playing. So watch uh, Tim Cast, and then um, you know be prepared to uh, moderately take in news. Write email your congresspersons. Oh, I'm going to put the Dan Crenshaw. I, I like Dan Crenshaw. I think he had he had some good comments. So I got to find him again. 
Scott Adams had a good uh, session yesterday. And Scott Adams says, or Coffee with Scott Adams, find on YouTube, where he talks about laying the blame at the feet of the fake news and uh, and the uh, big tech that they are co-responsible for the mess we're in and the divisions we experience. Anyway, happy Sunday. Merry Christmas one last time, my friends, and we'll see you tomorrow uh, in ordinary wear. We hit ordinary time. Good day.